Hey, and welcome to the highlights of episode number 99 with Tiro from Four Sigmatic. Some of my favorite parts of this episode were when he tells us about the different types of functional mushrooms and how they can benefit our mind and body. Plus, I loved it when he debunked some myths around candida and mushrooms and how you can start to incorporate functional mushrooms into your life. But there is so much more inspiration and knowledge and wisdom that you get in the full episode. So to listen to the full podcast and to get all the information in the show notes, head to melissaambrosini.com forward slash 99 right now. Tiro, I am so excited to have you on the show and I'm so excited for you to share about your journey and how you got to where you are today and how you created your company for Sigmatic. I was born and raised in Finland, about two hours north from the capital of Helsinki. We have a family farm there. Me and my brother are the 13th generation managing that farm. And I grew up farming with my father, mostly oats, and then foraging with my mother mushrooms and berries. And my mother was also a teacher of physiology and anatomy. And my dad was an expert in soil and had experience in agriculture overseas as well. So learning from them and going to an environmental school, which my great grandfather started. So it's a very like agriculture, health, hippie focused lifestyle living in Finland, uh, where I grew up. And and that's where I draw a lot of the inspiration for Four Sigmatic as well, which was started about six years ago. It's been a wild ride ever since. I actually originally studied chemistry and and after that later, uh, international business and uh, nutrition. And about 14 years ago, I ended up coaching professional athletes in nutrition. I wanted to be a professional athlete myself. I was never that good, but my friends were. And, and through that, I got to, into coaching that. And I realized that actually a lot of people who are extremely gifted athletes were, didn't know that much about nutrition. It was like just like post recovery shakes from like uh, poor quality ingredients was like the highest level of understanding that they had. And uh, outside of protein, the need for protein, they didn't really know what would be the things that fooled, fueled their bodies the most. So that's kind of what got me into that path. And about 13 years ago, randomly discovered a rare mushroom growing in Finland and won an innovation award from the government there. And that got me onto the rabbit hole of mushrooms. But it was not until this whole Web 2.0 blogging um, came about when I set about on the path to found Four Sigmatic. Because when I had my first business, I was not, I didn't kind of see how a company, like an early stage young company without insane amounts of money from investors or whatnot, could change the world into becoming healthier because the, the distribution was so limited into few large grocery retailers. And what, what I wanted to create was probably not something that buyers of those large grocery stores would bring in. So if we start to talk about mushrooms and how they're antiviral and antibacterial and immunomodulatory, people tune out. They're like, why would I care? Like, and immunity is, immune system is one of those topics that are incredibly important in physiology and anatomy, but like nobody really cares about their immunity. And I say this with love. <laughs> what we do care is that our brain work well, we're smart, we're good looking, we have beautiful skin. Uh, we care for things like energy levels. And once you make the connection that immunity is actually one of the things that actually guide those things that we truly care for, um, then I think we're in a much healthier place. So the immune system is a place that I think that regulates our body in so many different facets. Obviously, the, the obvious thing is when we get sick, when we get a flu or a cough, when our immune system is jeopardized, and that's when we go and have like honey, lemon, ginger tea, or eat uh, garlic, which are all great ways, but they're very immunostimulants. So they stimulate the immune system drastically. What I really recommend is using mushroom cacao um, or mushroom coffee as kind of the first way. So if you like to drink coffee, if you're listening and you're a coffee fan, I highly recommend trying the concept of mushroom coffee. So adding mushrooms to your coffee it will still taste like a normal cup of coffee, but you're not going to get the jitters and you're not going to get the heartburn that you would normally get from mushrooms. They will, it will lower the acidity and support your energy systems in a more balanced way. Or if you don't do any caffeine, then using it some sort of chocolate or, or hot cacao. 
if someone is new to this, like in terms of quality, what should they look for? I mean, like with anything else, um, there's a lot of products on the market. Even uh, you shouldn't necessarily go buy for Sigmatic only, but if you buy any mushroom product, I recommend looking for products that are made from fruiting bodies, not from necessarily mycelium. Uh, mycelium is the rooting system of mushrooms and fruiting body is the actual fruit. So think of like eating an apple from an apple tree versus the bark. Um, mycelium can be used in certain specific purposes, but I recommend initially looking for products that are made from fruiting bodies. And I recommend products that are either hot water extracted or dual extracted. So not products that are raw. Mushrooms are not bioavailable raw. They need to be cooked. So you want to look for products that are like that. You touched on dual extraction. What's that? Well, it kind of the name tells partly what it is, but obviously if you're not familiar with the different extraction methods in herbalism, it might be a little bit odd. So dual is obviously there's two phases and extraction is where you extract the goodness out of it. So I mentioned that mushrooms are not bioavailable raw, which means that they actually have this chitin structure, the same cellular structure that is found on, let's say, a shell of a lobster and which we humans cannot penetrate. So try eating a lobster shell. It's not, <laughs> it's not going to be easy. So you have to cook it almost like you would cook bone broth. So that is called a decoction or a hot water extraction. So for multiple hours to multiple days, you cook it in, in heat, and that's how you extract. So actually, it's very similar to how you would prepare bone broth. So you simmer the bones, and then you drink the liquid. Um, the dual comes from the second phase, which is usually alcohol extraction or tincture. So some of you might have seen those little bottles in health food stores and whatnot, and where there's droppers full of alcohol and herbs. So that would be the alcohol extraction. Usually in the dual extraction, when the hot water and the tincture is combined, the alcohol gets evaporated. So there's no alcohol in the end product, but the alcohol is used as a solvent to get some of those more adaptogenic properties out of mushrooms versus the hot water gets um, more the immune supporting functions out of them. So dual extraction would be those two phases included. Candida is the bad kind of mushrooms. And then that's why you shouldn't eat butter mushrooms or portobello mushrooms if you have candida. This is true. You shouldn't also have sugar, like you said, or very limited, moderate amounts of sugar. But what is not known is that is that mushrooms can actually have potentially be very, very antifungal. So there are mushrooms that can fight mushrooms. It's actually what they have to do themselves in nature. So mushrooms need to find against fight against other fungal things. And some of these mushrooms become extremely antifungal. So mushrooms like chaga and reishi are actually amazing if you have uh, issues with candida. So definitely would have reishi every day if, if, if you're struggling with candida. If you go in a normal grocery store, look for mushrooms such as shiitake, maitake, and maybe enoki. Those are more likely to be a little bit more on the nutrient-dense side. Maybe also oyster mushroom. That's where you're probably going to get more of those functional benefits. 